career, to make it in life and in the life to come, we need to have an independent mind. By an independent mind, I mean we need to ask relevant questions. And to ask a relevant question is the start of solving a lot of problems. So welcome today into, into the sermon that I'm about to bring named Ask a Question. You need to have an independent mind, ask a relevant question, and then examine the evidence around us or surrounding us to try to answer those pertinent questions. Thank you and welcome to the sermon. I am your online evangelist. My name is Lawrence and uh, I'm coming today with a quick word of God that is good for our souls because I believe whenever we listen to the word of God, no matter how short or long it is, it's always good for the soul. So every day we feed our bodies and our minds with a lot of information and we feed our bodies with food that is necessary for our growth but our spirits are starved most of us most of us here on earth have a very starved spirit and whenever you listen to the word of god just make sure every day you're feeding with your you're feeding your soul with the word of god you're listening to a man of god or yourself are reading the word of god over and over again or just meditating on the word of god that you have read that makes sure that your soul is fed and tonight very interesting i think it's a couple of like two weeks ago the spirit of god dropped a word in me and i was thinking this word looks so familiar but then i found that very important the spirit of god put in my spirit one sentence and the sentence was ask a question and you know for me how it happens is the Holy Ghost just keeps feeding me with information. He preaches to me. He teaches me. So he tells me stuff and it's just registered in my heart. But I'm not a genius. So what I do is, is whenever I get this, I, I realize the Spirit of God is talking to me. And he, he kind of like gives me the whole, the whole sermon. But I, at that point, I feel like I know it. But I have to go back and write it and try to remember what he taught me. And then I try to I apply it in my life and then what I say is I need to go preach it to my brothers and sisters as well because the Word of God is important and it benefits the whole body of Christ or just someone who may need it you never know who might need the word you have you know uh, the Word of God or even when I preach it the Holy Ghost may give you a different meaning what God does is like he distributes the word in accordance with the faith in accordance with the needs I may preach one thing and he may interpret it differently as he likes but the word of god that he gave me last week a couple of weeks ago i, I guess it's two it, it's it's about two weeks ago he told me ask a question and i was listening to the counsel of god and the holy ghost and he kept teaching me that people need to ask a question christians and all people who are not christians alike everyone in the world need to ask a question and a question starting to ask a question is the beginning of a solution to the problems that we have but most of us continue with life as it is we like to keep the status quo i mean let things continue as they, 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 they are you know most of us have been taught by our parents by our friends by we have learned uh, various things from the society, from school, from systems, from government, from the television, from YouTube. These days I have to put YouTube on social media because you do get a lot of information from social media and just like the world has become so globalized and this is because we have harnessed knowledge because of technology. That's what I wanted to say. Because of technology, knowledge has been harnessed in one source, like a giant Wikipedia. Uh, and it's pretty much easy to find information. So we, we are learning a lot of things from here and there. But at the end of the day, it boils down to me personally. I have to ask questions pertinent to my being and my character. I have to ask myself, I have to ask myself, why do I think the way I think? Why do I behave the way I behave? Why do I respond the way I respond? Why do I talk the way I talk? How, why do I look the way I look at things? You know what I mean? 
Why do I talk the way I talk? It's all, it's all about questioning everything. And I was wondering, the Holy Ghost started teaching me that we need to question. Ask a question. And it was like in, in bold letters in my spirit. Ask a question. And I realized that what the Holy Ghost was teaching me is it's very, very important for humanity to ask questions. Don't take things at par. Don't just accept what people are doing and continue with it. Why do I have these emotions with me? Why do I dream the way I dream? Why do I wake up the way I wake up? Why am I pursuing this and that? The beginning of a solution starts with a question. And if you look at the society today, I understood why the Holy Ghost is asking me, was, was, was teaching me this teaching. But most of us just accept what is norm in the in the society. We just follow. Most of us are most of us are just followers of what's the status quo. What other people are doing, we do it. We never question anything, you know. Or just because something is appealing, we just jump into it. But it's very important to ask 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 ourselves. We should ask ourselves, why do I have such appetites? Why do I have an appetite for this thing or that? Why do I have an appetite for... Why do I entertain myself in this way? Why do I find myself repeating this, this thing or that? Because that's the beginning of a solution. And the Holy Ghost continues to tell me that people asked, asked questions. People asked a lot of questions in the Bible. And he was giving me specific examples. And it's examples that we know. The people who ask questions. And I'll give you some examples of people who ask questions. Why don't we start with, with Moses? Moses asks question. When the mighty God appeared to him in a bush like a fire, after giving him instructions of what to do and to go to rescue his people, he asked him, he asked God a question. And God was not mad. So we think if we ask God a question, he's going to be mad at us. And he's not mad at all. He asked him, he asked God, whom do I tell the people you are? What's your name? That's a question. I'm not gonna delve into that, but I just wanted you know, to, to take you to the Bible to, to show you people who ask a lot of big questions. Moses asked God a big question. Who are you? Let's go back to the Old Testament and think about Solomon. Solomon asked a very huge big question. Solomon He's known as the wisest man by the Bible. He asked questions, and he asked questions about life itself. He questioned the very life that we think about. He questioned everything in life. He questioned wealth. He questioned happiness. He questioned revelings or parties. He questions laughing. He questions wisdom. He questioned wisdom. He questioned marriage. He questioned sex he questioned sexual pleasure he questioned everything the whole entire life and when we read his book or what is documented in uh, ecclesiastes we do realize that this man had a lot of questions and in his contemplation or meditation he has answers to all those questions god showed me that solomon asked questions can i bring more characters Absolutely. Job. We know what Job went through. Job went through a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. Unprecedented trouble. Maybe trouble that me and you will never go through. That kind of a loss, that kind of a cancer all over his body and stuff like that. But this man asked questions. He asked a lot of questions to God. He asked he even asked God, why does a wicked appear so prosperous? He had no trouble. Because he was a righteous man and he knew he was always, his conscience was right towards God. He, he kept righteousness, yet he faced all the trouble. Then he asked God, why is a wicked man? He looks like he has peace. He has, he got it all together. His money doesn't go to waste. His stocks never depreciate. I mean, you know what I mean? He's not sick. He asked God that question. He asked a lot of questions. 
Do you want me to go on? A lot of people ask questions. The disciples of Jesus Christ asked him questions. How do we pray? Where do demons go when you cast them out of people? And the Lord was constantly answering their questions, I believe. Do you want more examples of people who ask questions? One character that the Holy Ghost put in my, in my spirit more is Nicodemus. Nicodemus was a scribe or a Pharisee, one of the, 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 the olden people, teachers of the law of Moses. But kind of like, he questioned the whole thing. He questions, yes, I'm a, I'm, I'm a scribe, I'm a Pharisee, I know the law, I teach the law, but he questioned his very religion. He questioned his religiosity. And out of that question, Nicodemus got saved. I want to believe. He had to bring his questions in the dark in the night. It doesn't matter because he wanted to hide probably. He did not want to be seen with Jesus and he was a scribe. He came at night, but he asked a question. He went to the Lord and asked a question. What can I do to be saved? He was not sure, but it seems no one else of his caliber or his people, you know, not many of the scribes or teachers of the law asked any question and they died in their sins the lord said if you do not know me you'll die in your sins just wanted to bring that not asking a question can lead to eternal loss it, it's serious folks but asking a question can lead to eternal salvation so i i was thinking why is the lord telling me about asking a question like we, we ask questions and who asks a lot of questions is children your children will be asking you even stupid questions all the time because asking a question may seem stupid to others but it may mean salvation to you it may mean it's a gem to others it's it's salvation the very salvation so asking a question not just following the general norms or just what's going on in the world let's go by it whatever anyone tells me who deems to be an expert let's believe it without asking a question it's time to ask questions not just about general life our very character our our very being our very existence what we have believed all along and for me as generally as an example i'm just going to give myself put myself there as an example at some point i did question the very faith that my parents brought me in i was like why do i worship the way i worship why do I kneel at this time and stand up and, and stand up and do this and this? I questioned the very thing that was handed over to me by my forefathers. And I kept questioning it. And I can say out of asking that question, a lot has changed in my life, spiritually, physically, everything. I questioned a lot of practices that we do. I have questioned my own culture, a lot of things in my very own culture which I grew up, I have questioned why we do certain things. And out of that questioning, a lot has changed with me. I have agreed to some of it. I have rejected some of it entirely. Uh, at some point long ago, it got me in trouble with some people, some folks who could not understand why uh, I am questioning things. But, uh, I did ask a question. I'm not done yet. I have a lot of questions to, to, to ask, but I'm just preaching this as it was handed to me. And I believe the counsel of the Lord, which is the best, the knowledge of the Lord, the, 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 the Holy Ghost, just dropping a sermon in your spirit. It's an amazing experience. And that's what I'm trying to bring. I try to bring it as much as I could, but it's impossible. But I try to deliver as, as, as much as I could. So ask a question, ask why, why? Why do I pray the way I pray? Why do I worship the way I worship? Why do I sing the way I sing? Why do I think the way I think? Why do I spend the way I spend? Why do I earn the way I earn? Why do I speak the way I speak? Why? Do I spend my time the way I spend my time? Why do I relate to others the way I relate to others? Why do I feel 
this towards others? Why do I do this? Just question everything. Why do I believe the way I believe? Why? Why do I do these things? Ask a question. And by asking a question, as I said, that will be almost 50% of the problem that you're asking will be will be will be solved and how will it be solved but asking a question the holy ghost taught me it's good to think that question and ask yourself in your mind like a meditation kind of a thing but take it to god prayerfully go prayerfully to the lord and take your questions there and something else that the lord told me the basis basis of us asking questions is the word of god try as much as possible to read the Word of God as your question and see what areas does the Word of God answer your questions. But ask a question. This is going to change your life. Take it to Jesus Christ in prayer. And you'll find out there, 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 there was always a solution that is in Jesus Christ and in, in, it's in His Word. Thank you so much for listening in, but ask a question. Thank you, folks. God bless you. Thank you.